people. It is 12:20 on uh, sep excuse me, August 31st. Uh, I am back in the hospital again. Yes, the last time we spoke, I was in the ICU and uh, I had just discovered the blood clots behind my knee. Of course, I have been to the hospital for now. This this I was in the hospital. I uh, was discharged Thursday and ended up back here on Saturday. So there you have it. I'm having uh, potassium issues. I didn't really realize that bananas could be so important to your life, but apparently they are. Potassium, um, you need it to regulate uh, your lungs and your heart. And, um, well, I wasn't retaining enough potassium. Uh, so they gave me some potassium supplements, got my potassium level up to normal, and um, sent me home because this with the potassium supplements I was taking and my normal diet, any normal human being would be able to maintain a healthy, normal potassium level. Oh no, not Lisa. Huh, not me. I don't know what my problem is. Nothing I do is ever normal. So, my oncologist is now miraculously back from Ireland, and he is looking over uh, my male pattern baldness. No, I'm <laughs> he's looking over my CT scans and uh, whatnot from the last time I was here uh, and from coming into the ER on Saturday. And um, we're going to formulate a plan of action right now. Um, What's going on is we're going to maintain a healthy uh, potassium level, which is uh, 3.6. I don't know what those units are or measure or whatever, but that's what he said, 3.6, for at least 48 hours. And then once that 48 hours is up and I've maintained a normal potassium level, then we'll talk about um, some sort of plan of action and getting me either home with uh, in-home hospice care or to a hospice um, but we, he doesn't want to make any firm decisions about any treatment plans until um, until we can keep my potassium where it should be the, um, the blood clots are getting more aggressive uh, and more numerous and that is because of my cancer uh, the chemo I I'm currently on is again unfortunately not working so uh, my husband and I after months of discussions and uh, considerations have decided that if my quality of life is going to be like this in constant pain and constant trips to the hospital that the chemo is not worth it because it's not helping uh, not I'm not getting better, I'm getting worse and worse. And so uh, we're going to discontinue chemo. Unless, of course, my doctor finds some newer, greater, more fabulous thing to put me on that will uh, at least prolong my life in terms of years and not months, because that's what it is right now. I'm looking at months and not years. And, um, so, I'll know more in the next couple days, and uh, hopefully there'll be some miraculous event happen in the field of cancer research, and uh, all this will be moot. Um, the lesions on, the breast cancer lesions on my bones are getting bigger and bigger and spreading very rapidly and that's what's causing most of the pain uh, bone I think I've told you all this before but bone tumors are uh, are the most painful tumors because I don't know I don't know why they're the most painful tumors that's just what they tell me and uh, the soft tissue tumors are much easier to deal with unfortunately now that it's spread to my liver 
and I have you know the tumor on the right side of my lung and um, with my lungs filling up with blood clots you know it's really important that my quality of life be something that I can tol not only I can tolerate but my family can tolerate as well because it, it's killing them to watch me in this kind of crazy crazy pain so um, we're gonna we're gonna wait it out again and uh, I'm gonna have fun with the nurses in this in this ward in the hospital which I have only been in once it's funny everybody knows who I am in this hospital somebody saw my mom walking downstairs the other day he went oh Randy is your daughter back in the hospital crazy nobody should know your mom in the hospital on a first name basis ever that's just the way that works nobody should ever know that anyway I am um, I'm still not sleepy <laughs> but at least I've been able to give you guys an update um, Oh, the blood clots. Uh, so I wanted, uh, I had the blood clots are uh, are becoming more numerous and they're traveling faster. And the fear is that the pieces that are breaking off and traveling through my heart, um, otherwise known as pulmonary embolism, are going to become either too frequent for my heart to handle, or one of or the clot that's behind my right knee is going to, or left knee is going to completely come detached from the vein wall and um, I'll have a massive pulmonary embolism and that will that will immediately kill me and uh, that doesn't sound like something I want to deal with so uh, I don't plan on it that's just all there is to it. I'm not going to have pulmonary embolism that will kill me. I'm going to spend as much time with my family and my friends as possible. And I'm going to fill my life with as much love as I know how. And uh, I'm just not going to let this disease get to me. I mean, this is the third diagnosis. Granted, it's never been, I've never been this sick before, but. I've beat it twice before I don't see why I shouldn't be able to do so again and if I can't then at least I, I gave it the old college try you know what I'm saying and you know that's uh, that's my goal to give it the old college try and uh, be around for so much so much longer to bug all of you <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to try and get some sleep. I think you should do the same. Night-night.